I made a guy an offer the other day and he's looking at me like, what? I said, that's what I paid for. He says, oh, I'm gonna go to my car and get the rest of them. Man. I, I would get in front of a microphone and the TV cameras every single day and tell okay. people the truth. So Tim, let me ask you a question about selling silver, something I don't do. Okay. <laughs> but I know a lot of people are interested in it. Um, first of all, do you uh, care what type of silver it is? What type of uh, bullion, I should say? Does it vary? Yeah, it does. Um, number one, we don't like to advertise for our competitors. So we don't pay as much for those. <laughs> so if it says, like, uh, <coughs> next. <laughs> That's, That's one good. of those. How about sovereign silver, uh, government minted stuff like maples versus it's American eagles versus really Britannia's? Really a problem, okay. unless it unless the coins have been abused. Yeah, and um, and we pay quite a bit over these days. In fact, yes. I made a guy an offer the other day, and he's looking at me like, "What?" I said, "That's what I paid for." And he says, well, "I'm going to go in my car and get the rest of them then." There you go. Tubes of eagles. Yep. Um, but I needed the ones he had, the dates he had, for to satisfy a customer who's been in that pile for two months. And um, so now I get that one on the road. And I hope he's still alive. I mean, you know, we've had difficulty. I had mm. one fellow who moved before he got his, um, a, what do you have? He had um, mostly silver. But he moved in the meantime, and the package came back. And what it says is, it says, um, forward time has expired. Return mm. to sender. Mm. Uh, yeah. How much time? How, yeah. how much time is that? Would maples, if I was selling maples or eagles to you, gone or a higher amount than say if I had a Britannia? Well, the American eagles are obviously quite a bit more. Maple leaves would be more. Um, Britannias are still available and they're not terribly expensive. Um, most of the others are still like Philharmonics that are available. They're not terribly expensive. But the ones that are expensive for me to buy I'll definitely pay a lot more. So while Tim's on the phone yet again, he is one busy guy. What, what is this? So I was just cleaning up my desk and I found this. This was um, a stamp that I made that I can actually stamp fiat bills with. Oh, it's and a stamper for like putting on currency. That's great. Yeah. Although it says inflation is coming. It's actually here, but it's hey, just you know, <laughs> batting down the hatches and. But that that is cool. Yeah. That I like that. Yeah, yeah, it's a fun thing to do, and and it's and it also gives a little message um, to people that just maybe they, they don't know much about precious mm -hmm. metals. Mm -hmm. it, it starts it starts the process thinking. Buy physical silver, Reddit, Wall Street silver. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, I, I like was, it. I thought it was a cool thing to do, but you can have it. Um, oh, for me? Yeah. Oh, want. wow. I was going to be here anyway, so. <laughs> Thank you. If you um, if Oh, you Kevin, want, that's really nice. Appreciate that. Hey, John, say hello to Yankee. Hey, Yankee. Johnny Fish over here from Long Island. I'm a South Shore surf fisherman who collects silver. Hey, how's it going? Are you enjoying your stacking? Oh, uh, I enjoy it. I've been doing it for years and years, you know, and I... I uh, just love silver, and I have silver chains, uh, silver rings, uh, <laughs> silver bracelet that weighs a, a pound. You know, it's a. Uh, yeah, I love I love silver. You know what I mean? It's uh, better than the dollar money. You know what I mean? I've been watching you guys for a long time, so. <laughs> and Timmy, Timmy should be in office. I swear. Hey, he said if he was younger, he'd run. He should be. He should have been in office. I swear. He knows a lot of stuff. Well, he sure does. The, the one thing about that is they, they wouldn't tolerate me for very long. <laughs> I, I would get in front of a microphone and the TV cameras every single day and tell oh, people the man. truth. You know, I'm just uh, a little anxious. I want to see some silver bars and stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, we, we're going to try to get this out to you before hurricane season. <laughs> yeah, okay, I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Timmy. And Take care, buddy. Stacker. <laughs> Take care, buddy. <laughs>
Get ready for SD Bullion's monster box sweepstakes that includes 500 silver eagles. You could be the next lucky recipient of a phone call like this. This is Dr. Tyler Wall, CEO of SD Bullion. Well, I'm calling you to let you know that you won the SD Bullion giveaway of a monster box of silver eagles. So click the link below for your chance to win. All right, so related to the type of silver that you would buy and the difference in prices that you would offer. How about condition? Scratched eagles or maples or milk spotted um, silver? Does that matter to you when you're buying? Oh yeah, absolutely. And I have, um, actually I may have sold that tube of maple leaves that were all milk spotted. And um, so I sold it for a really good price because I, I didn't want to have to try to, you know, sell it coin by coin. So I just picked up a bunch and uh, I'd like you to tell me, if you look at these, you should be able to see the difference right off the bat, right? That was one of them I got, it was milk spotted. Maybe if I get the right angle there, you can see it, right? Yep. And then this one, same batch, just a little bit on the edge there on the top. What do you think? Would that, would that basically, uh, would you purchase these at a different price? That one definitely. This would probably slide by because my eyes aren't getting any better. <laughs> so difference in price. What would you say? These would be just a little bit over melt, and these would be quite a bit over melt. Interesting. Yeah. So milk spotting, scratches too, right? Scratch, scratches too. Well, on the eagles, you know, I'll, I'll pay close to melt on eagles at a scratch because nobody comes in and say, "Hey, do you got any scratched eagles for me?" Except you. <laughs> <laughs> And my probably a bunch of other people in the comments would say, yes, Tim, I'll take Scratch Eagles. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, um, my wholesaler just added that to his price list, too. Scratched Eagles? Yeah. Well, imperfect, oh, impaired, okay. uh, toned, oh, spotted. Nice. Wait a minute, okay. toned? He's, he is buying them for $6.75 over melt, and he doesn't have any to sell you. That, right? that surprised me when I saw it. It, it surprised you. He doesn't have okay. any to sell, and he's willing to pay $6.75 over. Wow. Okay, so it didn't surprise you that toned would be in that category as well? Yeah, you know, it's... They don't expect you to dip them. That's the thing. Yeah, Once okay. you dip them, sometimes they look dipped. So, you know, okay. that's the only way to get the toning off is to dip them. I know we got to put them in the tube carefully. Sometimes the edge catches that field, right? It creates that little scratch. That's scratched. It doesn't matter if it's all. Yeah, <sighs> most people don't notice that because they're careful about putting them back in their tube. Okay. I would buy them pretty close to melt. Yeah. And, um, well, now I know where I can sell them, but he, he doesn't like me to send them two or three coins. Yes. He wants a lot of yeah, black. Five rolls, something like that. <sighs> Do you but have? I, that's that's so much over what I would pay for them. It, it really is kind of shocking. Yes. Yeah. You, do you have any like messed up no, sovereign silver? I got a Yankee came in the bottom. Okay. Of all right. This, this all comes I, from. I bet in your monster box, you probably have lots of them. <laughs> just, it's just like half that box. It's like half my monster box is color circulated. It's great. <laughs> and again, I'm not planning on selling this stuff to you or anyone else, but if I did, this is very helpful. And, and one of my um, uh, subscribers has asked this question. Um, would, would you sell on consignment? No, no, no. It, it's uh, too complicated and people are never happy with what they get. So if I brought in some silver and said, this is my silver, I'd like you to sell it for me, Tim. You're not going to do that, are you? No. Yeah. And I can't, because of the way we do taxes, I really yeah. can't. It's everything confusing. Everything has to yeah. be in inventory. We have to put everything that we buy in inventory. Mm -hmm. And then we have to, everything we sell has to be taken out of inventory. Speaking of inventory, yeah. I'm going to give people an update on the gold and silver you have in inventory to sell. Junk silver. You got a lot of junk. Yeah, I, went, I bought that before the. Uh, it became very expensive. And, um, hmm. 
you know, a lot of things like Morgan dollars and peace dollars, but that people be at the new prices that they are selling for, people aren't coming in and buying to buy silver. Uh, you know, they, the lowest price on a Morgan dollar is about $34. And that's for, you know, very good, which is a very low grade for a Morgan or fine. Um, yeah, Kevin brought in some Morgans. I did. Yeah, you yes. got a bunch here. These are not the high, high, high grade, right? Yeah, yes. No, they're, they're medium grade. Okay, medium They're not grade. actually, they're not very good or fine. They're much higher than that. Really? Yeah. Okay. I've always wanted a tube of Morgans. I thought it was a cool thing to do. So um, I bought that about three years ago. And I never, I, I went to another coin shop. Sorry, Tim. No, no, sorry. Right. But um, we'll <laughs> I, I prefer here much better. But mm. but it was a cool, I, I was in a different state and all this. But mm -hmm. um, it was some, kind of a dusty shelf. And I picked them up from this, this, this shop owner. And I made a tube of them. And I never got them verified because in the back of my mind, I was always... I just want to make mm. sure they're real and everything. Mm -hmm. And you know, I know it's a little, you know, the older ones <clears throat> can be tough to to tell sometimes. Usually, if they're not genuine, you'll see um, a lot of dark coloring around the rim and around the devices. All the ones that used to come from uh, China, mm. and they used to be way underweight. Um, and uh, then they, they kind of fix that by using different metals to make it you know, thicker and wider and everything. So it would make the weight. And if it's if it's anywhere near 26 grams, then you know people assume, well, 26.7, that's close enough. Okay? But the tip off is they use sand castings to make these things. So they take a genuine coin, make a sand casting, and um, then the dye, they, yeah, they use metallic dust and they you know, bond it with something like hot lead and so they get enough to make a few coins and of course it's you can see all the little um grainy dipples from the sand okay it's, it's not really sand it's more like a dust but um that stays on every coin and um you know you just you get that darkness because the the sand comes off the the dye and they can only make a few coins with that, but you know, they usually make you know, high um, valuable Morgan dollars, like 93 S's and stuff like yes, that. Yes, they're looking for key dates because they key want dates. as much, yeah, uh, potential profit off of it. And they don't they usually stick to a neodymium magnet or a rare earth magnet? I, honestly, I couldn't tell you. Yeah, they, mine do. I bought a few from Alibaba just for fun. Just to Just show the one. difference and my pocket pinger. You put the fake ones on there uh, and it's just obvious. You can actually hear the difference. Check out the description below for the pocket pinger. They will also send you some fake Morgans in peace. That's good. Yeah, I'll get one. Any gold that you have to sell? Um, I actually went out and got two maple leaves from another source to close out an order. Okay. And um, I had two buffaloes that are going to two different people to, for a very old order. And uh, the my former wholesaler has some more gold available. So I just have to keep getting the cash in the bank so okay. I can start buying some of that. So maybe I'll get some of your silver then. The, the constitutional quarters. You Ooh. haven't bought them all yet. I haven't bought them all yet? How about the Patriot pistols? Do they sell? Uh, you mean the Bruce? Yeah. Yeah, they sold right away. Right away. Sorry. Yeah, I was, I was, I was hoping that you had an extra one, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, maybe next, next time. Everybody <laughs> assumed he had extras. And these haven't gone from the uh, Patriot pistol uh, extraction. So maybe, Tim, we'll get you on in a live stream and we'll auction these off. How's that sound? Sounds like a great idea. All right, let's do that. They're really nice. Yeah, they're beautiful. We will uh, we'll definitely do that on auction. So, all right, thanks a lot, Tim. Thank Appreciate you. it. I wanted to give you these because I know. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You're low. You're running low, right? Yeah. I had to raise <laughs> my price because I ran out of. Them. <laughs>